I know many students are doing research from home right now, so I'd like to show you a resource you have available through your York County Library card. On our yorklibraries.org website, you can click on What Can I Do? Choose Research Databases. We have access to a few different databases, but the one I'm going to show you today is for middle school students. So it's called Middle School in Context. Click Learn More. You use your York County Library card to gain access. You can type in your search rate in the search bar, or if you have some more criteria, you can click Advanced Search. You can use multiple keywords. You can use a publication date range. You can pick a certain type of document. You also can choose the just newspaper publication type. Um, if you have a lower reading level, you could pick easier to read um, information. So that's what the Lexile level is for. Once you finish your search, you can pick by magazines, um, images, videos, audio, news articles. So as you can see, what we've picked here for our search on cyclones, we have an encyclopedia. So you can click on the link and now we can research our cyclones and find out some information. You can use a highlighting tool to highlight different text. You can also download the article to your Google Drive, OneDrive. You can email it to yourself, download or print it. There are also some cool tips you can use up above where you can cite your work and copy the exact MLA format to cite your work. You can send it to EasyBib or your Google Drive. What I'm going to show you today is just placing it into a Google document. So if I go to my Google Docs and I've already copied the site and I can paste it into a doc that I'm going to turn into my Works Cited and just make sure you do some of the formatting. You might have to make some formatting changes. So I'm changing to Times New Roman 12 and then I have to indent. So I'm going to drag my hanging indent so that it is in the proper MLA format. So I hope this was helpful information for you to do your research from home this year. You can contact your local library if you have any questions.